Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're just going to go ahead and we're going to refeed the chickens and we're going to check on the sap buckets. We're also going to answer the question of what are we doing with that dryer. So let's go. I don't know if you can tell guys, but it's snowing here again. Uh, so winter's not quite over. I'm going to give them a little bit of feed inside the uh, chicken coop first. You cannot dive back out me. So we got them fed. We went ahead and we fed them. So let's go ahead and check on the eggs. See how many we got, if they're frozen or not. All right, looks like we got quite a few eggs in there. Go ahead and check them. Ooh, it's good they're not frozen yet. One of these is actually still really warm, so they just must, they must have just laid them. All right, let's go check the uh, sap bucket, see how they are doing. Oh. Before we go check the sap bucket, Go ahead and come in here because one of these ladies left in us an egg right in the middle of the run. So let's get that one up. Watch out, ladies. Come on, guys. Wow, they're just under my feet today. Let's get that closed back up. All right, let's go check on the sap buckets and see how they're doing. Snow is coming down pretty good right now. There's not, nothing in that one. Let's check this one over here. Oh, 
Ooh, that one's got some. Let's open it up and see what we got. Nothing. I think it was just the weight of the snow on top that made me think there was something in it. Let's go check these two out back. I'm gonna have to check these taps because, oh, they should have ran pretty good yesterday. Nothing. Not much in these back ones. You can see this one ran though. You can see right there there's definitely some sap in there. Huh. This one feels like it's got some in it. Here we go. Got a little bit in there. That's probably about the here on the bucket. So that's good. Unfortunately, it's frozen solid. I have heard though that if you reuse your taps, that could be one of the problems. So, and I did reuse these. I don't understand how that would make a difference. Um, but I do have some new taps. So hopefully later on this week, I can just change out the taps and see if that changes the problem or fixes the problem. Because we, the weather or the temperature yesterday was almost, uh, upwards to 55 to 60 degrees which with it being that warm we should definitely have gotten some sap we'll check the two in the front and then uh we'll move on to the dryer and i'll show you guys what my plan is with it unfortunately with the weather the way it is today i'm not going to actually get around to doing it um, but at least i can give you an idea of what what i'm actually going to do Alright guys, so here we are, we're back at the dryer. Um, what we're going to be using the dryer for, the primary item or the first item that we're going to use it with is, one of you guys actually got it, it's going to be a maple evaporator. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down on its side and I'm going to use this door as the door to feed the wood and I'm going to use the side here as the top of the stove. I'm going to cut a hole in the top and drop a couple pans in there. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I know it's been a while since I've told you about it. In fact, I got the dryer. Um, and I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Hopefully, uh, next weekend I'll be able to build it and show you exactly how I'm doing that. All right. The other thing I'm looking at doing with this is I'm going to recover the motor. And I have an idea for that. I just don't want to give that one away yet uh, because I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work. Um, so that's going to be the second thing I get off of this dryer is the motor. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to be re-upcycling re that in a certain way. And I'll put this out to you guys again on, do you know what I'm going to use the motor for? Or do you have any ideas of what I'm going to use the motor for? Quick hint, it doesn't have much to do with the garden or with the maple syrup. But it has something to do with something else that you guys have seen us do. All right, guys, again, I thank you for coming along. Um, remember to click that subscribe button, especially if you want to see how we go ahead and build this uh, dryer into a maple evaporator. Um, and we'll talk to you guys later.
Bye.